it's Thai bug. If you've been paying attention to the news recently, you've noticed that there's a lot of action going on on Big Island. Um, I'll put a picture of the Hawaiian Islands here just so you get like a concept of where the Big Island is. The Hawaiian Islands are a chain of islands, it's not one big island. So when there's activity going on on the big island, it's not happening on Oahu or Kauai or Maui. With everything going on, it's important that we look at the very cause of the volcanoes itself, the goddess Pele. I am not by any means the expert of Pele or her stories or legends, but I will give you like a basic idea of it. And feel free to look into it more. I'll put the links in the description below. And I really want you guys to learn about Pele, the Hawaiian goddess of volcanoes. She was born in Tahiti. She is one of six daughters and seven sons. Her mother and father are the earth goddess and the creator of the sky. Pele was exiled from Tahiti because of her fiery temper and the fight she got into with her sister, the water goddess Namaka. Pele seduced Namaka's husband and because of this, they got into a scuffle. <laughs> Once exiled, Pele's older brother, the king of sharks, guided her on her journey to the Hawaiian Islands. She traveled the wide expanses of the sea, searching for a place to dig her fire pit. Her sister Namaka followed her. Once in Hawaii, Pele used her stick, uh, it's called a paoa, to dig uh, her fire pit on Kauai. She dug deep into the earth to get the internal flames going, but her sister Namaka attacked her, then left for dead. She recovers and journeys to the island Oahu, where she continues digging her fire pits, which are now craters. After Oahu, she continues her journey across the Hawaiian island chain. Namaka, realizing that Pele is still alive, journeys to Maui, where Pele is currently residing. They have a fierce battle near Hana. Pele was torn apart by her sister, and this is when her mortal body dies. Once her mortal body dies, she rises up as a goddess the goddess of volcanoes. Upon becoming a god, Pele journeys to Big Island and creates her final home on Mauna Loa. Here she digs her final and eternal fire pit. This fire pit is called the Hale Mau Mau Crater. It is at the summit of the Kilauea volcano. Pele has a long history of seducing people's husbands and of jealousy. One popular story of this is the story of Ohia and Lehua. Ohia is a tree on Big Island that sprouts Lehua flowers. The story of this is Pele fell in love with Ohia, but when he turned her down because he was already in love with Lehua, Pele turned him into a gnarled, twisted tree. Lehua, overcome with grief, begged the gods to keep her with her love. The gods turned Lehua into a flower that now grows on the Ohia tree. It's said that when you pick a Lehua flower from the Ohia tree, that it rains for days. Hawaiian folklore says that if you pluck a Lehua flower from the Ohia tree, it is separating the lovers. In current times, Pele appears to people on Big Island, typically around the Hawaii National Park. She has three appearances. The first appearance is a beautiful, tall maiden with long, flowing black hair. She's typically wearing a red dress. Her second appearance is as a hunched over, elderly woman with white hair, and she's wearing a white dress. Another appearance is as a white dog. When she appears to you, she often has a request to journey to somewhere, or she needs something. If you refuse her request, you face her wrath. Pele is often seen in her dog form on moonless nights. She is seen as a as a harbinger, harbinger, harbinger. It's seen as a bad omen when you see Pele as her white dog form. Pele is very important to the Hawaiian people. Even today, stories of her wrath and jealousy and her love still circulate the Hawaiian Islands. Because of this, there are still strong beliefs around volcanoes. Bad luck will befall anyone who removes lava rocks from the Hawaiian Islands. This is because Pele sees each of the rocks as her children. Now you may be thinking, what can Pele do? She's just a goddess on the Hawaiian Islands. If I take a love rock from the Hawaiian Islands, how is she gonna curse me? I personally have a story of this. 
I myself didn't take a lava rock. A kid, let's call him Scott, took a lava rock from the Hale Mau Mau crater. Nobody knew of this except for him and his close friends. When we were traveling away from the Hale Mau Mau crater, I was in one bus and he was in another bus. When we were driving up, his bus was first, their bus broke down, so our bus pulled to the side to see what was going on. And nobody could figure out what was going on. The car was perfectly fine, nothing was wrong in the hood, and it just wouldn't start, it wouldn't go. And then finally, after a lot of like, everyone's like, what is going on? The kid was like, I have a confession to make. I stole a lava rock. So we took him back into our bus and we drove back to the Hale Mau Mau crater and we had him beg for forgiveness and throw the lava rock back into the crater. When we went back to the other bus, the other bus started up fine. When we got back to where we were staying, they took the bus and to just make sure that everything was okay and everything was perfectly fine. So don't take a lot of rocks from the Hawaiian Islands. Don't even take it from the crater. We weren't even off the Hawaiian Islands yet and Pele was like, mm-mm, don't take my children. So that is all I have for you today. I'm by no means an expert on Pele or Hawaiian mythology, but I thought it was important to share this story with you guys and just so you guys would have a deeper understanding of what was happening on the Hawaiian Islands and why when you see pictures of people pointing out, oh my god, there's the woman in the lava. That is who it is, it's Pele. I encourage you all to look further into her story and stories that people have encountered her of and just how deep her influence is in the Hawaiian Islands and on the big islands especially because of everything that's going on and that the volcano is still active. I'll include all the links in the description below and I can't wait to see you guys next time, bye. Respect Palais.